like to catch a train from Temple Meads to Porter's Head, um, or Porter's Head to Temple Meads? Uh-oh. I've been interested in trains since I was one, and so I've decided to do a project about the Porter's Head Railway. 144 years ago, Porter's Head was already a big enough town to need its own railway. In 1867, the original railway opened and it carries passengers for almost 100 years before closing in September 1964. So that was still running the year before my daddy was born. Porter's Head is growing all the time. They seem to be building new houses, offices and flats everywhere. When all the building work is finished, Porter's Head is going to be the biggest town in the country without a railway. Porter's Head Railway Group was formed in the year 2000. They have done lots of work campaigning to reopen the Portishead line. We went to one of their meetings to find out more. In 2002, most of the line was opened for freight use. Only about three miles would need to be rebuilt from Portbury Dock to Porter's Head to complete the line and most of the tracks are still there. The council has already bought the land. If the railway group get what they want, the new station will be next to Waitrose Supermarket Car Park. They've already built the car park. This is where the Porter's Head Railway is going to be. The railway group told us that there is still tracks left from the original railway, so we're going to investigate. We're off to look for the old railway. Come on, Christian. Come on, Jane. Opposite Waitrose, but we can't, we can't find any tracks you. yet. We've been walking the long way, but we still haven't found any tracks. But we found these swords. Look. Where, where were the swords? I was trying to pull them out. <laughs> These are like giant funnels. We saw them when we went on our year two nature trip. This is probably where the railway tracks would have been. There used to be lots of industry in Porter's Head, and we think this is the route to the old freight lines leading to the factories and the docks. We all had fun exploring and we found some good clues. We weren't sure but we thought this was looked like something from the old railway. We didn't find any tracks today but we'll come back and look another day. We found the railway! Look! Today we found these tracks in Keys Avenue just around the corner from the marina doctor's surgery. We're on the cycle track in Sheepway and the old railway goes right under that bridge. We're under the bridge at Portbury, that way is to Portis Head and that way is to Bristol. Wouldn't it be great if we could have a train from Bristol to Portis Head? Last year, a special passenger train ran down the Porter's Head branch line to Portbury, showing that all the tracks are in place. 
although they would need some work for, to make them safe for regular passengers. Fortress Head Railway Group are trying really hard to open the railway again. How long do you think I'll have to wait for another train? Oh, it's a tattoo, we can't.